Good evening, I'm Bob Ford. I'm U.S. Coordinator for Partners in Flight and welcome to our presentation of 2020 Partners in Flight Awards. Partners in Flight uh, has a land bird mission since 1990 of keeping common birds common and helping species at risk through voluntary partnerships. Our awards recognize outstanding individuals and groups for their exceptional contributions to the field of land bird conservation since 1996. The 2020 PIF Awards are presented here at the 86th North American Wildlife and Natural Resources Conference in 2021. These awards are sponsored by the U.S. Forest Service. We thank the Forest Service very much for their continued support of this recognition. The Partners in Flight Award categories include leadership, investigations, public awareness, stewardship, and the David N. Pashley Lifetime Achievement Award. To present our awards this year is E.J. Williams, the Vice President at the American Bird Conservancy for the Southeast Region. E.J., I turn it over to you and thank you. Thanks so much, Bob. Always happy to take the award baton from my good friend, mentor, and colleague, Bob Ford. And so tonight we've got some exciting awards and we're gonna start with Wendell Gilger. Wendell has been selected to receive a Partners in Flight Leadership Award for his lifelong work in integrating Partners in Flight Bird and Habitat Conservation into USDA Natural Resource Conservation Service programs, ensuring that birds and wildlife remain a high priority natural resource. Wendell launched the development of partner biologist programs and increased the biological capacity of NRCS to use farm bill dollars to improve habitat for birds and other wildlife. This innovative approach where non-governmental organizations place cost-shared biologist positions in NRCS field offices was a significant breakthrough for bird and wildlife conservation that's been used effectively all across the country. Wendell had a distinguished career with NRCS before joining Point Blue in 2011, where he was instrumental to the success of Point Blue's Working Lands Program in California. In the first eight years under Wendell's leadership, the program engaged more than 800 landowners, assisted with planning and implementing conservation practices on over 300,000 hectares and helped leverage $23 million in Farm Bill funds in 26 counties. Wendell also played a vital role as part of the PIF Western Working Group, and he made sure that we didn't turn into a bunch of feckless twits, as our good friend David Pashley would say. In one of the Western Working Group meetings, after enduring yet another lengthy debate about the best scientific methods for bird monitoring, Wendell stood up and shouted, Rome is burning and you all are rearranging the chairs on the Titanic. Get off your high horses and start putting bird habitat on the ground. When someone asked, where do we get the money? His answer was the NRCS Farm Bill. And as you can tell from his award highlights, Wendell followed through and made it happen. So please join me in congratulating Wendell on his Partners in Flight Award for Leadership. Our next award is for Michael Green. Mike has been selected to receive a Partners in Flight Leadership Award for his two decades of leadership and collective impact on Partners in Flight land bird and non-game bird conservation initiatives and partnerships throughout the Western United States. Throughout his history of working passionately for the conservation of migratory birds, Mike's contributions have included a multitude of projects spanning scales from his regional focus in the Pacific Northwest and Hawaiian Islands to the entire North American continent, including his vibrant leadership in the Partners in Flight, Oregon-Washington Chapter and Western Working Group, the Pacific Flyway Council Non-Game Tech Committee, and the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service Pacific Northwest Migratory Birds and Habitat Program. Mike's efforts have benefited birds ranging from flammulated owls to white pelicans, and he served as an integral part of the team that created and delivered the Partners in Flight Roadshow workshops in Oregon, Washington, and Idaho, resulting in successfully guiding habitat management for birds by state, federal, and tribal employees. 
Now, significant impact is measured only partly by what is done. Many would argue that significance resides far more importantly in how the work is done, the style, the reach, the resonance, the leverage. It is in this realm, the quality of his leadership, that Mike Green stands head and shoulders above others. Mike brings warmth, openness, attention to fairness, and a sense of community trust to conservation. His unflappable good humor and personable professional style makes everyone feel welcome and valued. And Mike's also an accomplished musician. So Mike Green, well done, my friend. And I know everyone joins me in congratulating you on your Partners in Flight Award for Leadership. And now we want to recognize Claudia Macias Caballero. Claudia has been selected to receive a Partners in Flight Leadership Award for her 27 years in pioneering the development and implementation of bird conservation investment strategies through science and activism. She's been a leader in the study and conservation of birds in Chiapas, Southern Mexico, and Mesoamerica, including her 19 years as subdirector of conservation at Pronatura Sur, and prior to that with Pronatura Chiapas. As a leader in the Mesoamerican Pine Oak Alliance, her work has increased the knowledge of the status of the golden-cheeked warbler and benefited the winter habitat of this and many other migratory and resident species from the Pine Oak Forest ecoregion. A collective result for the Alliance is an estimated 450,000 hectares of sustainably managed Pine Oak habitat, benefiting more than 100 communities and nearly 100 migratory species. Claudia has inspired and motivated lasting partnerships that drive bird and habitat conservation at regional and international scales. She also contributed to a wonderful book that has educated over 3,000 young students. The tale of Chipilo, Chrysopatin, tells the story of a young golden cheek warbler named Chipilo who lives in the same mountains of Mexico as the students. And he teaches the children to respect the only world that can cover us both, the world in which we all live. As one colleague stated recently, Claudia, your collaborative, multifaceted partnership and leadership is an inspiring model to all of us and for bird conservation worldwide. So please join me in congratulating Claudia on her Partners in Flight Leadership Award. Next, we move to the category of investigations. And tonight we recognize Peter Pyle to receive a Partners in Flight Investigations Award for advancing our understanding of avian molt and pioneering its application in avian systematics, demography, and conservation. Peter has had a lifelong dedication to birds and bird conservation and spent much of his childhood assisting his parents at bird banding stations in Maryland and Hawaii. His parents introduced him to the Christmas bird count at a very young age, and he has not missed participating in at least one Christmas bird count every year since those early years. Peter's lifelong work led to he and co-authors publishing the Identification Guide to North American Passerines in 1987. And some 10 and 20 years later, he would author the two volume Ident Identification Guide to North American Birds, which has become the foremost authority on aging and sexing of North American birds and the go-to reference at every banding station. Another of his important contributions was his many bird bander training workshops in Mexico and Central America in conjunction with the MOSI program, which inspired and educated next generation bird biologists and conservationists working in critical overwintering areas for priority partners in flight land bird species. Peter's seminal work on aging birds using molt limits and other molt related criteria has led to significant advances in our understanding of population dynamics and the development of management and conservation actions to reverse population declines. His work on the dynamics and extent of molt migration in birds has opened the door to an understanding of the geographical areas and habitats that must be protected and conserved to provide full life cycle conservation of bird populations. 
Peter has a special gift for collaboration, and he has gone out of his way to mentor early career and young ornithologists. Through his popular articles, he's become quite a rock star in the birding world while also maintaining his high status as a researcher. Unless you think it's all about birds, while working as a land bird biologist in the Farallon Islands, Peter also initiated pioneering work on satellite tagging white sharks. So congratulations, Peter, on your Partners in Flight Award for investigations. Now for our final award of the evening, it'll be in the category of stewardship. Tonight we recognize Amy and Ruth Ann Grissom, who have been selected to receive a Partners in Flight Stewardship Award for their dedication over 20 years to managing early succession and other forest habitats on their private property to enhance land bird populations in the Piedmont of North Carolina, and also for allowing access for long-term bird research and education. The Grissom Sisters property contains and contributes to conservation of the Uari River that's been recognized as a significant natural heritage area, and their property complements the adjacent Uari National Forest. Their efforts to benefit land birds include restoring and maintaining native and early successional vegetation, managing for mixed hardwood forests and declining forest types, and protecting various habitats. Since 2015, the Grissom Sisters have provided access to their land for a bird banding project that led to documentation of notable migration pulses of various species, especially seven species of sparrows, as well as insights into a variety of species ranging from yellow-breasted chats to American woodcock. The Grissoms have also hosted outreach and education activities for teachers, natural resource professionals, other private landowners, and the general public, expanding their influence on bird conservation far beyond their property. The management these two sisters have undertaken provides critical ecological connectivity that benefits a wide variety of native fauna on the landscape and is especially imperative as we work to minimize habitat fragmentation and species lost in a rapidly developing and urbanized landscape. So cheers to these remarkable ladies from North Carolina. Please join me in congratulating Amy and Ruth Ann Grissom on their Partners in Flight Stewardship Award. As we wrap up the Partners in Flight 2020 Awards, I'd like to thank a few people that made these awards possible. We certainly couldn't have these awards if not for Carol Beidelman. Carol not only organizes the awards committee and the review of the nominations, but she also organizes me and Bob and others to make this whole presentation possible. So thank you, Carol, for your many, many efforts. Also, of course, Bob Ford, thank you for being my co-presenter and for being such an excellent Partners in Flight National Coordinator. And we need to thank um, Adelaida Rivas with SetNet Communications. She made these gorgeous slides possible and we're indebted to her for that. And then of course, we also get great technical support from Jerry Bauer and Wayne Art with the U.S. Forest Service. I'd also like to thank our nominators for taking the time to develop these wonderful nominations and making it possible for us to recognize these heroes in our bird conservation community. So thank you to our nominators. So this concludes our awards tonight, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service Science Awards, as well as our 2020 Partners in Flight Awards. And thank you, congratulations to all our awardees for this wonderful recognition, and thank you all for joining us. We encourage you to now turn on your cameras and turn on your microphones and um, stick around and socialize with us and congratulate those who were recognized during um, tonight's award ceremony. Thanks so much.